Imagine a world where humans possess the extraordinary ability to transform into animals at will. This fantastical scenario is made possible through advanced genetic engineering. But how would this work, you may wonder? Let's delve into the science of shapeshifting. In this world, the ability to shapeshift hinges on a revolution in our understanding of genetics. Scientists have discovered an innovative way to integrate animal DNA into human genomes. This integration is not haphazard, but a carefully controlled process. Imagine a genetic library filled with the DNA of every animal known to mankind. Each strand of DNA holds the key to the traits and abilities of a specific animal. Scientists, through a method yet to be discovered, are able to select a specific DNA strand and integrate it into the human genome. But how do we control when and what we transform into? This is where a sophisticated bio-interface comes into play. Acting as the ultimate genetic switchboard, it can activate specific animal genes at the user's command. Much like how a software update can add new features to your smartphone, this bio-interface enables the human body to unlock abilities hitherto associated only with the animal kingdom. The transformation is not permanent and can be reversed when desired, returning the individual to their human form. This process, as fantastic as it sounds, is not without its challenges. It would require an intricate understanding of our own genetic code as well as that of the animal kingdom. It would also necessitate the development of a bio-interface that can seamlessly interact with our genetic material, a feat of bioengineering yet to be accomplished. But in this world of our imagination, these hurdles have been overcome. The integration of animal DNA into human genomes allows for controlled metamorphosis, opening up a universe of possibilities. This advanced genetic engineering sets the stage for a universe of possibilities. What animal would you choose to transform into? And what would you do with your newfound abilities? These are questions we will explore in the next part of our journey. But for now, let's marvel at the science of shapeshifting. The choice of animal avatar would depend on the desired abilities or characteristics one wishes to embody. Picture this. You have a need for speed. What better form to take than that of a cheetah, the world's fastest land animal? Or perhaps you've always dreamed of exploring the ocean depths. In that case, the form of a dolphin, a creature perfectly adapted for life beneath the waves, would be ideal. Maybe you fancy the strength and prowess of a gorilla, or the agility and nimbleness of a monkey swinging from tree to tree. How about embodying the keen eyesight of an eagle soaring high above the world? Or perhaps you'd like to experience the world from a completely different perspective, like that of a tiny but industrious ant. Whatever your desire, the animal kingdom offers a vast array of options, each unlocking a unique set of abilities and experiences. The options are as diverse as the animal kingdom itself, offering a multitude of unique experiences. Each transformation would grant the individual the physical abilities of the chosen animal. Imagine having the strength of a gorilla, lifting hefty weights with ease, or possessing the agility of a monkey, nimbly maneuvering through complex environments. What about the keen eyesight of an eagle spotting minute details from miles away? These aren't just whimsical fantasies, but potential realities in our hypothetical world of human-animal metamorphosis. The power within each transformation could be harnessed for various purposes, opening up new avenues of exploration. Consider the realm of rescue operations. An individual transformed into a St. Bernard could brave snowy terrains to locate lost mountaineers. Or in the case of a drowning victim, a lifeguard with the ability to morph into a dolphin could swiftly navigate through the waves to save lives. Beyond the application in rescue scenarios, the possibility to experience life from a new perspective offers a profound opportunity for personal growth and understanding. Imagine what we could learn from a day in the life of an ant, understanding cooperation on a whole new level, or spending time as a bird, soaring through the skies, grasping the true meaning of freedom. This transformative power also holds potential for environmental conservation. As a bee, one could contribute to pollination, directly aiding in the sustainability of our ecosystems. The power within can be harnessed for various purposes, opening up new avenues of exploration, the possibilities are as boundless as the animal kingdom itself. With great power comes great responsibility. It's a phrase we're all familiar with, and it rings particularly true when considering the ethical implications of a world where humans possess the power to transform into animals. At the heart of these considerations is the question of identity. What happens to our sense of self 
when we can change our physical form at will? Does the individual retain their human consciousness, their memories, their personality, when they're in the form of a bear or a bird? These questions challenge our understanding of what it means to be human and blur the lines between our species and the rest of the animal kingdom. Then there's the matter of rights. In this hypothetical world, transformed individuals would not just be humans in animal form, they would be beings with unique abilities and experiences. Would they have the same rights as their human counterparts? How would we ensure fair treatment and equal opportunity for all regardless of their chosen form? These are complex issues that would require careful thought and legislation. And of course, there's the potential for misuse of power. Just as any tool can be used for good or ill, so too could the ability to transform. It could be used to exploit, to deceive, to harm. We've all seen enough superhero movies to know that not everyone uses their powers for the greater good. This is a stark reminder that ethical guidelines would be paramount in such a world. But let's not forget that this power also holds immense potential for positive change. Imagine a world where we could use our animal abilities to aid in rescue operations, to protect endangered species, to better understand the world we share with our fellow creatures. The possibilities are as diverse as the animal kingdom itself. In the end, it all comes down to responsibility. With the power to transform, we would also bear the responsibility to use that power wisely, ethically and for the betterment of all. Society would have to establish guidelines to ensure these powers are used for the betterment of all. The integration of animal abilities into human life would revolutionize our world. Picture a world where industries evolve to accommodate the unique capabilities of humans with animal traits. Construction workers morphing into elephants for heavy lifting, firefighters turning into falcons for swift aerial reconnaissance, or marine biologists transforming into turtles to study ocean life up close. The possibilities are as vast as they are fascinating. In this new world order, our cities too would witness a metamorphosis. Urban landscapes would be redesigned to cater to a populace that could fly, climb or swim. Architecture could take inspiration from the animal kingdom, creating structures that blend seamlessly with nature. The line between the urban and the wild would blur, leading to a harmonious coexistence. Yet perhaps the most profound impact would be cultural. As we embody different animals, we would experience their lives firsthand, fostering a deeper understanding and respect for the myriad creatures we share our planet with. Literature, art and philosophy would all be enriched by this newfound connection to the animal world. This transformation could lead to a society where humans no longer see themselves as separate from nature, but as part of a greater whole. A society where we appreciate the strength of a bear, the grace of a deer, or the flight of a bird, not as foreign experiences, but as part of our shared heritage. 